So you're obese. Does that mean you're ugly? I'm looking forward to completing your training. Training Academy, the best place in the galaxy to attain unlimited power. And you're probably asking, how can I use the teachings of the Sith Training Academy to attain unlimited power? And I will tell you how, over the course of time. You need to watch lots of videos. Watch the old ones, watch the new ones, whatever. Watch them all. Because one video, I don't have enough time. I don't have time. I have to live stream my whole life. I'm not doing that. I got stuff to do. Stop asking. Ah! Today we're going to touch on something that's a little bit <clears throat> touchy. Go figure. We're going to touch on the concept of beauty and obesity. And it's going to suck. A lot of you don't want to hear this. But also, you need to hear this. So I'm sorry. But also, what I'm going to say isn't bad. But it is. It's really jarring, isn't it? Sometimes, in the real world, there's not always a right, there's not always a wrong. There's a gray line in the middle. Good? Bad? None of us are either of these. We're kind of in the middle. Right? Can you be obese and still be beautiful? So let's start with the term obesity. Listen, hey, listen. listen, it's not a racial slur. It's not making fun of a race or a gender. It's a scientific term to refer to somebody who is severely overweight. A disorder involving excessive body fat that increases the risk of health problems. Obesity often results from taking in more calories than are burned by exercise and normal daily activities. Very common, more than 3 million US cases per year. Usually self-treatable, usually self-diagnosable, lab tests or imaging not required. Chronic, can last for years or be lifelong. Morbid obesity, if you're more than 100 pounds overweight, it's just what you are. You're a brown-eyed person, you're a blue-eyed person, you're a short person, you're a tall person, you're a tree. How dare you speak of me like that, you asshole. You complete waste of precious oxygen. You buffoon. Have some goddamn respect, you flesh-covered bag of shit. Whatever, whatever. If you're morbidly obese, you are morbidly obese. Don't say here, I'm offended because he said I'm morbidly obese. You just are. I'm sorry, I'm overweight. I am. Look at the, the BMI chart that tells you when you're overweight, I'm overweight. Nah. If you're morbidly obese, you just are. It's just a scientific term. This concept of beauty is subjective. You may think things are beautiful that I do not. I may think things are beautiful that you do not. I have a specific friend. He lives down in Puerto Rico. Hello, specific friend who lives down in Puerto Rico. If you're watching this, how's Puerto Rico? Probably much warmer than here. And he sends me often, hey, look at this, this person that I find attractive. And I'm like, nah, I just, I'm not feeling it. That girl, uh, that girl doesn't, isn't attractive to me. That person isn't attractive to me. That's because his definition of beauty, his personal definition of beauty, and my definition of beauty, they're not exactly the same. They don't exactly line up. That's okay. However, your health and obesity, as we just defined it, those are not subjective. Those are objective. Those are factual. If you've got heart disease, you have heart disease. If you've got type 2 diabetes, you have type 2 diabetes. If you have one of several kinds of cancer that was brought on by a morbid obesity, or at least brought on due to complications from morbid obesity, you have cancer. That's just the way it is. It's not subjective. It's just the way it is. Beauty, obesity, not related. You absolutely can be a beautiful person to somebody. Women, listen up. When your husband says, no, you're, you're beautiful to me, he's not lying. He thinks you're beautiful. It doesn't matter if you're overweight. It doesn't matter if you're obese. He thinks it. It is his subjective feeling. It is what he feels. And he probably loves you for a whole lot of other reasons. He says, wow, you know, you're really funny. <laughs> Like anime. Nanda, mono tari nai no ka? Yokubari me. Ore wa shitte iru. Omae tachi no yona furyo no kokoro o tadasu no wa. You have a great personality. She's a nice lady. You have really pretty eyes. Trap, trap, trap till the cages fall. The cages fall. The so you have a really pretty smile. <laughs> he probably thinks all of that. However, let's 
switch the roles and put ourselves in your shoes and you're, you tell him I'm ugly because I'm overweight. He says, no, you're not ugly. Good. Good for you. However, if you want to talk about your overweightness, then let's talk about it. Your health is at risk. Objectively, it is at risk. Your joints are at risk. Your heart is at risk. Your lungs are at risk. Your cholesterol is at risk. You're at the higher risk of cancer. You're at a higher risk for all kinds of issues later on in your life. You're at a full on risk of losing years off of your life. So why do we care if we look beautiful? If you can lose a bunch of weight and have a better heart, better health and live longer, then do it. It all comes down to what you want. You want to be curvy. You want to be thick. Go for it. Go for it. Know that there's a trade off and you might have to pay for that later on. Know that you are at an enhanced risk for health problems. Objectively, you're not an ugly person. You're not a bad person. It just means you might be at a higher risk for some issues. Factually, factually, that's a fact, that's a fact, hashtag facts. So be happy, be happy with who you are. Am I happy with who I am? Yes. Should I always strive to be better than what I am? Yes. Should I always strive to be smarter than I am? Yes. Should I always strive to be healthier than I am? Yes. You know the universe loves Strive to be better to yourself, to you, to make your life better. Strive to be better. Don't worry about other people. Strive to be better for yourself. That's the whole discussion. Beauty, over here. Health, over here. Subjective, objective. Opinion, fact. You be you. You be the funny, awesome person that you are. But also remember that your health matters too. If you liked this video, go down and show it to me. Prove it to me. Prove your allegiance to me by liking the video. If you like content like this, then subscribe while you're here. Comment down below. Go down and comment. Anal seepage is a real problem in our society. Just write that out. Why? Well, because now when other people come here who haven't been here before, they're gonna look at the comments and they're gonna say, what? And they're gonna watch the video. And now, now that you're here, you're in on the joke, right? Go down. Comment about your anal seepage and how it's a big problem in America. Anal seepage, the number one issue with all of America. If you don't have anal seepage, you might actually be in the minority. But you know what the real biggest problem in America is? The real biggest problem with all of the world? Is that not enough people know this one thing that we need to talk about? And that is that. This is the way. 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 This. Is the way. This 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 is the way.